Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gaming Flow and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Sengoku Dynasty is having crashing issue, it is not launching, freezing and structuring, low FPS drop, black screen and even low FPS drop issue including not launching and all these kind of issues and how we can fix it. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about when you're having this issue, you need to do a restart on your system. So to do a restart, we just need to go over here in the start, click on this one, go over here in the cycle, do a restart. Once the restart is successfully done, just try launching the game. This is what you have to do. So restart is a basic step. You can try this. If it's not working, we can move to the next step. Next step is all about, we need to do a verify integrity of game file. For this, we just need to go over here in the game, right click over here and go to the properties. Now from here, we have to go to install and file. And here we just need to click on the verify integrity of game file. So what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step. And that is why verify integrity of game file is actually an important step. So for many of the users, when they did the verify integrity of game file, it fixed many of the issues. So we can try this out as well. So verify integrity of game file is actually an important step and you can try this out or else after doing the verify integrity of game file, most probably if you're having any bug, you'll be getting a message over here. So if every files are successfully validated, every files are cross-checked, you'll be getting a message over here. It says all files successfully validated and there is no issue. Once after that, you'll be getting the play button. You have to try it, launch the game once after that. So you need to wait this to reach 100 percentage. As you can see, 479 file is successfully validated, which means it's good to go. So we have to launch the game after this. So once after verify integrity of a game file, if the issue is still persisting, you need to try all these steps. And one among them is all about, we need to launch the game, not from the Steam. We have to launch the game from the installation folder. For launching the game from the installation folder, we have to go over here in the game, right click over here and go to the properties. Now from here, we have to go to install a file and just click on the browse. So if we go back, as you can see, we'll be getting this particular message that is this PC, local C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Sengoku dynasty. Now from here, this is the application. So launch the game from here. So instead of launching the game from Steam, we need to launch the game from installation folder and it worked for many issues. So you can try this out as well. Next one is all about, we need to run the game as an administrator so hence we are in the installation folder we can show the from here itself just go to the game over here select the application right click over here and go to the show more options and go to the properties now from here we have to go to the compatibility now from here we have to go to run this program as an administrator and we have to go for apply and we have to go for ok so once you go for ok and once apply is done once you're done with this one we just need to close this and we have to try launch the game once again so if that is not working, we need to go to the same, do it once again, go to the installation folder, go to installer file and click on browse. So we'll be getting a message like this. So after running the game as an administrator, if it's not working, we can try with run the game in the compatibility mode. So right click over here and go to the show more options, go to properties, go to compatibility. Now from here, we have to click on run this program in compatibility mode. We need to set to Windows 7, go for apply. If Windows 7 is not working, we have to set this to Windows 8 and go for apply and go for ok. So see whether that's going to work for you or not. So if that is not going to work, we need to move to the next step. Next step is nothing but we just need to make sure that is the time, language and time zone is correct. Sorry, region is correct, not language. Go over here in the search, go for settings, go to time and language, go to date and time. Make sure the time and time zone should be turned on. If this is turned off, we have to turn this off. So you have to make sure the time zone and time should be turned on. Once you cross check both these things, you have to close this and we have to go back and we need to try launch the game. Next one is all about, we need to try with the next one is all about, we need to launch the game and we have to press Alt and tap together. So just click on the play button, but moment when you're clicking on the play button, you have to press Alt and tap from the keyboard. Just press Alt and tap from the keyboard. So once you press Alt and tap from the keyboard, the issue will be most probably whatever the issue you are having, those issues will be completely fixed. So you have to press Alt and tap simultaneously from the keyboard and launch the game. Next one is all about after trying with this, the next one, we need to delete the saved game file. 
So just go over here in the search, go to this file explorer, go to this PC. Now from here we have to go to the documents. And if you find the folder on Seguku Dynasty over here, you have to delete the folder. Keep in mind when you delete the folder, you'll be losing all the progressions, but that is fine. Just delete it. Once you delete it, you just need to go back and try launching the game once again. Next one is all about we need to allow the game to Windows security. For this reason, we have to go over here in the search. Now from here, we have to go to the control panel. Just click on system and security. Go for Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, after this, just go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, you have to check for Sengoku Dynasty. So keep scrolling down and we have to go over here. Go to S. So we have to go over here. Keep scrolling down and navigate to S. So because uh, if we navigate to S, we'll be able to see this. So just check whether the Sengoku Dynasty is already added. So if it is not added, we can add it by default. So what we just need to, we just need to go to the change settings, just click on allow another app, go for browse, go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go to steam and from here we have to go to steam apps, go to common. From here we need to find Sengoku dynasty has to be fine and now select this one and go for open and we have to add it. So once you add the Sengoku dynasty, you have to make sure to try launch the game and once you launch the game, most probably the issue will be completely fixed. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to try with the next one. That is all about we need to unclick all the USB devices. So USB might be connected with multiple monitors, joysticks might be connected or many other things. So just remove everything from the, you need to remove everything from there. Once you remove everything, we just need to launch the game and most probably that will be working fine as well. Next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot. So performing a clean boot, we just need to follow the instruction. Just go over here in the search. Go for system configuration, go for services, go for disable all, go for hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for OK. They're going to ask you for restart. So if uh, you know, the thing is, uh, those who are watching this, you have to go for restart. But those who are not watch, I mean, uh, I'm going to go for exit without restart because uh, the reason why I'm going to exit without restart. So I'm shooting over here. So that's enough to go for exit without restart. But those who are watching this, you have to go for restart. Once the restart is done, try launching the game once again. Next one is all about we need to disable the Steam overlay. So just go over here in the game, right click over here and go to the properties. Now from here we have to go to over here we need to make sure this is turn it off. If it is turn it on, you have to turn this off. This is very important. You have to turn this off. After this, try launch the game. Even after trying with this, if it's still it's not working, we have to go to the launch option. So launch option is we have to give two commands. The first one is DX11. Start with DX11 and try launching the game. If DX11 is not working, you need to try with DX12 and try launching the game. So either DX11 or DX12, any one of the thing will be working fine. So we have to try with either DX11 or we have to try with DX12. Try with any one of the thing and that will be working fine. So once you're done with this one, we just need to close this and we have to move to the next step. Next step is nothing but we have to close all the overlay application. So just go over here in the search, go to task manager, right click and we have to go to the task manager. Go to the start and click on task manager. Right now, as you can see, there are 44 apps running in the background. So all these apps are actually utilizing the performance. So that is why we are having the crashing issue because the moment you are launching the game simultaneously, these 44 amps are also running in the background. So if you find this up, you need to delete it. So just find the unwanted things and we have to go over here and go for end the task. So we have to do it manually for everything. So go for everything and we have to end it up. That is what we have to do. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to try with the next one. That is all about we need to run the game or dedicate a graphics card. So just go over here in the search and we have to go for graphics settings. Now from here, as you can see, I have already added all the games over here. The same way we need to add the game. So just go to the browse over here and we have to go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go to steam over here and go to steam apps and we have to go to common. Now from here we have to find Sengoku dynasty and we have to select this and we have to add it. So once you add it, just go to the option and if you find it over here, just set this to high performance. And once you set this to high performance and go for save and we have to close this and we have, we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about we need to do this we just need to increase the virtual memory for increasing the virtual memory we have to go over here in the search we have to go for view advanced system setting go to advanced go to settings once again advanced once again go for change now from here we have to make sure this is blank and also select the local disk where the game is installed 
Once after that, go to the custom size and we have to select the value. Initial size should be 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So initial size should be 1.5 times the total RAM. So just go over here in the search and we need a calculator. So just type your RAM. So 32 GB is my RAM. So just type your RAM and multiply with a constant value that is 1024. And you have to multiply it with 1.5 because you need to get the value for initial size that is 14 and 152. So just copy this value and we have to paste it over here. Next one is maximum size. So maximum size is 32 GB into 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3. That brings you 98,304. So just copy this value as well and we have to paste it over here as well. Just go for OK and once everything is set, we just need to close this and we just need to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to move to the next one that is all about we need to increase we need to update the graphics card for updating the graphics card we have to go over here go to this particular icon over here and now from here we have to go to geoforce that is product type we have to go to geoforce product series has to be selected this one product should be selected this one operating system should be windows 11 and select every details over here and go for start search so when you go for start search what happens is You'll be getting the latest released version that 536.99 which is released on August 2028, 2023 is the released latest version. Download this install and restart is a mandatory. If you're on the AMD, just go over here, select every details over here and we have to go for submit. Once you go for submit, if you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, you have to download this one and we need to go for next one next one is all about we need to try with uh, we just need to try installing the microsoft visual c++ also because it working for many users so just go to this link if you're on x64 based one you can download this one if you're on x86 you can download this one after this try installing and most probably after doing all these things the issue has to be worked apart from this or trying all these steps and still the issue is not persisting you can try with the next one that is all about we need to uninstall and reinstall the game for uninstalling the game we just need to go over here select this one and go to the manage and uninstall the game for reinstalling it back you need to install it back you should not be installing it back on the same local disk you should be try it in the position of local disk and this is what we have to do so these are the possible workaround which can be done when you are having an issue with Singuku Dynasty is crashing and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.